Welcome to Pit Stop 2017. In the following video, we'll be covering several new features included within this new major release, beginning with changes to ink coverage checks. In previous versions of Pit Stop, the ink coverage check was based on all inks in a file, including varnishes and technical inks, for example. With Pit Stop 2017, you can now define which inks should be included in the ink coverage check. For this example, we'll build a restricting action list to select the separations to be included in the check, omitting the technical links and varnishes. Apply this restriction to the preflay profile and configure the ink coverage limit. Here, you can see the results of the new ink coverage check compared to the old. It's now possible to create a rectangle based on a PDF page box dimension. You'll also see another new option in this window, which allows you to adjust the corner radius of an added rectangle. In this example, I've added an overprinting die line based on the size of the trim box. We've added a new Layers chapter to regular preflight reports in Pit Stop 2017. As seen here, the report gives an overview of the layer structure and information about the attributes of each layer, including the ISO 19593-1 processing steps information. In addition, the report will include if a layer has content assigned to it or not. This chapter is enabled by default, but can be turned off in the general settings of your preflight profile. By popular demand, Pitstop 2017 includes the power to reorder pages. Start right away by finding the standard action lists to reverse the page order, or move the first page to the end of the document, or experiment with the flexibility of a custom scheme. Also, notice the standard action lists for deleting pages, which was already possible but is now simplified in the Remove Pages action, which can remove both a page and its contents in one step, after selecting the appropriate pages. Pitstop 2017 includes new options for resizing pages and also a brand new action for automatically resizing a selection. The Scale to Fit Page Size action now supports fixed values percentages, and variables. In addition, width and height can be adjusted independently or choose to adjust one dimension while allowing the other to adjust in proportion. The new scale selection action also has a multitude of scaling options. Adjust by a value, change to a value, scale by percentage, change to a page box value, or keep in proportion to the other dimension. You can also adjust in which direction the scaling happens, which adds a lot of flexibility. Thanks for watching. This is the second in a series of three videos dedicated to the new features in Pitstop 2017.